Um, well, I work in a school and um, strangely it was my half-term holiday, um, so our routine was quite different. Normally Boffy's up first and I go off to work and I don't see her until later. Um, but that particular morning um, we'd done a swap and I did the horses and she went off to work a little bit earlier. She was working in a, in a, yard, a different yard at the time. And um, I waved her off goodbye. I didn't think anything of it. It was a beautiful morning. Um, she drove to work the same, more or less time every day. Nothing was different. And, um, and I was busying myself. The radio was on and everything was good. There was one very severely injured casualty that very keen as soon as we landed for us to go and see this casualty who was trapped in the car. Somebody at the scene recognised Boffy and then called her mum, which actually yeah, doesn't normally happen at all because it would be the police that would normally um, do that. Suddenly my mobile phone rang and I thought it was her, but um, it wasn't, it was my brother, unusually. And um, he'd had a call from a friend who um, said that he'd seen our, my car in a very serious accident. Um, and for just for that moment, you sort of tremble a bit and think the worst. And, um, and I asked him a little bit and he said, Susan, I don't really know much about it, but I think you should get there as soon as you can. Um, and um, I think you just go into autopilot at that point and lock the horses up, put the dogs away, um, got in my car and drove down there. It was very bizarre driving to the scene. Um, the, the, I estimate I probably arrived there some 35, 40 minutes after it actually happened, by which time um, everything was in place. All the roads had been closed. Um, so uh, me and my little car was going against all the other traffic that had been diverted and everyone was looking at me as if I was crazy. But I was on a mission and nothing was gonna stop me. Um, and um, when I got there, I had to park my car a little bit away, but it was, I've described it to people, it was just like going into a, a disaster movie. Um, just every, so many people, so many vehicles, um, and dominating the scene, of course, was the big air ambulance. Um, and I knew at that instant, having spent so many years in the horse world, that when the air ambulance arrives, it's for one of two reasons, either a land ambulance can't get there or it's quite serious and being on the main road I knew which one it was. So it's happened a few times where loved ones or guardians have turned up on scene and it either goes one or two ways, it's a hysterical disaster because this is a loved one who is very very unwell and they just want to help out or like Susan did she was incredibly calm. I said to her at the time, you know, we're going to do everything we can to take care of her and look after her. From just that absolute instant, I had complete faith in them. I was able to realise that I didn't panic and I did know that that would be the sensible thing for me to do, even though, you know, all my instincts made me want to go to Boffy. Um, I knew I couldn't. Boffy had um, a minor bleed to the brain. Um, she had um, vo broken vertebrae. Um, she had um, various other knocks and bruises and lumps and bumps and her kidneys were described as shattered. So she had a lot of internal bleeding. I was in hospital for about three and a half weeks. Um, but to be honest, it just, it was worse for my family than it was for me because I didn't really know what was going on <laughs> most of the time. But I came home quite quickly. She's an amazing girl. Everyone who knows her knows that she's a tough little thing. Um, She's described as being quite tenacious by a lot of people and I think that has stood her in good stead in this case. Being able to see patients who we've seen we're not sure about the outcome actually come back and see us, walk in, talk to us, send again and back on their horse, for example, was just wonderful. I'm just really pleased we managed to deliver her home to her mum fit and well. Quite soon after Boffy came out of hospital, um, it struck me that it was going to be Mother's Day and um, Mother's Day traditionally in our house has been bring me chocolates, bring me flowers, pamper me for the day. And, um, and of course, Mother's Day for me that year, the first one, um, was very different. And um, for the first time, I was just really, really grateful I was still a mother to my daughter because it all could have been very different. My life's changed completely. I've now started my English degree. Um, I'm sort of a year down the line with that now which is something I'd never have done if I didn't do my, have my accident. Um, 
And so that's really good. I'm really enjoying my studying. Um, I'm still doing lots and lots of riding and um, competing more in the summer than in the winter. Um, but I'm excited for the season. So I'm working part time in a school as well, a primary school, which is great fun because you're surrounded by lovely children. So my life's really going well, actually, at the moment. I'm really thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah. What can you say? They, they saved her. So thank you. 